Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about how to travel as much as you want and still keep your full-time job. Am I a travel vlogger? No, I'm not. I just enjoy traveling. But for now, I'm just traveling for fun. Here I will tell you how you can travel as much as you want and still keep your full-time job. Traveling for me is a way of de-stressing. Over time as we work, we tend to build stress and we don't realize it. And over time it could affect your, your ability to perform as well as you would. So you need that break. So when we take vacation, most of us take vacation to go somewhere. Now, some of us prefer to stay at home and we catch up on our chores and or some of us stay home and rest. For me, vacation is to travel. In my next video, I will tell you how to save for your travels. If travel is on your bucket list and you want to do it as often as possible, you should save for it unless you're getting paid to travel. I love my job and I love to travel. So I'm balancing both work and leisure. Now let's get into the how-to. Here's one of the ways that you can travel more than once a year. Before the beginning of the new year, check all the stats holidays and work your vacation around that. For instance, um, Easter is a long weekend. You have the Friday and the Monday off. So you can work out a four-day vacation or even longer by taking an extra day or two. So if your job allows you to spread out your vacation, then you can take vacation throughout the year and not take all of your vacation at once. If you have three weeks vacation for the year, you can spread it out into one week's vacation or you can do two weeks and you can spread out the rest over long weekends. If you book your trip way ahead, you will save quite a lot. Although a lot of my trips are done on the spur of the moment, because I tend to do things on the spur of the moment, but make sure you don't do that. Book ahead of time and save money, especially on hotels. There are some airlines that offer short vacations um, some airlines will offer uh, travel and vacation at a resort if you are into resorts yes that works fine considering that most resorts are all inclusive and you can um, take part in the uh, tours that the hotels offer if your vacation is for you to see as many countries as possible the best thing would be to take a cruise. A cruise, with a cruise, you can see many countries, but your time is limited. So it depends on how you want to see the place, how much time you want to spend at the place, and how much rest you want also. Vacation for me is seeing one place at a time, and I spend ample time getting to know that place and um, the culture and everything like that. Another thing, going to St. Croix, um, the stop is in Puerto Rico. Long layover in Puerto Rico. Uh, get to see the place a little bit. Now, when you go to some islands, there are neighboring islands. So you can go from one island to the other. But you, if you book your flight in advance, it could cost you a lot less. And sometimes while you're on the island, there could be, um, you could take a ferry to another island. For instance, I saw Dominica while I was in St. Lucia. So I took a ferry from St. Lucia to Dominica. And that same ferry also goes to other islands nearby. If you're in Europe, you can see a lot of other European countries by road and you can take a train from London to uh, France. So it depends on what your vacation is for. If you want to see other places or if your vacation is for leisure, just to relax. If you just want to relax, then 
take your vacay, you can still have a four day rest or even a three day rest. Most holidays fall on a Monday. So you can take the Friday off and take off to a nice place and relax. One trip that can take you to many places is traveling to the Virgin Islands. Uh, if you travel to one Virgin Island, you can get to see the other Virgin Islands by taking a ferry. For instance, if you're in St. Croix, you can take a, a ferry to St. Thomas. From St. Thomas, you can take a ferry to another island. And if you choose not to go back to the island of origin where you where you landed, you can just continue. So you can do island hopping from one island to the other. But if you're on vacation just to rest, I don't take vacation to rest. I take vacation to explore. If your vacation is to rest, you will not be able to do all of that. You must be wondering now, how would you be able to afford all of that? This is coming up in the next video. In my next video, I will tell you how you can save for your vacation. It might seem hard, but it's very easy. And you'll be surprised at how much you can save and how quickly you can save. If you're uploading videos on the go, like for instance, if you're uploading videos on YouTube or Instagram, Here's how to stay connected while you're on the go. How to stay connected while you're traveling. You can use hotspots. Um, you can connect to Wi-Fi using GlocalMe. It's a company that provides international um, Wi-Fi. So you can stay connected wherever you are. So you don't have to really find a place where you can connect to Wi-Fi. So you can connect on your own from anywhere and you can get Wi-Fi from them. Um, you can buy by the gigabytes or you can get a monthly plan. And um, it's pretty good. That way you can connect from wherever you wherever you are. Now, if you're in a remote location where it's hard to get um, Internet connection, you can use this with um, something else like called WeBoost. So that way you can stay connected all the time. But um, this is one of the other things that you can use in combination with your local me. What I do when I'm traveling, I usually call my mobile company and I pretty much, you know, pay the roaming fees. So most places it's $12 a day for the roaming. But if you're gone for over three weeks, uh, you might, I don't know, you might want to check with the local place and find out which is cheaper. If it's cheaper to um, use your company or if it's cheaper to use that of the local place. For me, I know it, I, I, can, I use the... Um, my company for up to three weeks if i'm gone for three weeks i pretty much use that it could be costly yes but um, for me it's convenient and it's fast whatever you do make sure you carry a good portable charger with you especially if you're on the go if you're always out and always taking videos and pictures make sure you have you carry also carry one or two portable chargers yeah, I use that for backup just in case I can't find a place where I can charge my phone. And make sure you carry more than just one adapter and your phone, your, the uh, cord, because you never know when that cord will die on you. So make sure you carry more than one charger when you're traveling. And I mean the one that you can plug directly into the outlet. Before you travel, make sure you know what adapter to use in that country because the um, every country doesn't use the same type of adapter. So make sure you check if you need an adapter before you leave and that it will suit the outlet. It will fit the outlet of that particular country. If you're a frequent traveler, let me know how you do it, how you travel and keep your full-time job. If you travel more than once a year, please jot a comment down below and let me know how you travel while you keep your full-time job. 
To summarize all of this, number one, make sure you have the vacation. Number two, make sure that your company allows you to spread your vacation over the year and also that you can carry some vacation over to the next year. I usually carry at least one week over to the following year. Number three, make sure that you are able to afford your trip. You don't want to be stranded anywhere. Number four, <laughs> take more than one trip on one journey, like stop at different places uh, if you can. It costs you a lot less to do that. Uh, in most cases, it will cost you less. And also, if you have a long layover, you can get to see another place while you're on your journey to another um, place. Um, use your time wisely. If you're going to relax, find a resort, relax, because everything, it's all inclusive on most resorts, find an all-inclusive resort. If you want to explore, make sure you book properly, whether you are at an Airbnb or um, at a hotel, it's up to you. And make sure you're in a location that you can easily access those other areas where you have to do your connection for your trips while you're on the island or wherever you are. <laughs> So have a safe journey and enjoy life. Make your vacation fun. If you have a job that permits you to spread your vacation over throughout the year, you can do it. You don't have to take all of your vacation at once and you can travel more than once a year. In my next video, I'll tell you how to save to travel more than once a year and keep your full time job. Thank you so much for watching.